Okay, let's go ahead and solve this basic algebra equation. And the question is, what is h equal to? In other words, we need to solve this equation for h. Now, if you think you can do this basic uh, algebra problem, and this would probably be a typical equation that you would see like at the pre-algebra level. So it is a pretty basic algebra equation. So if you're at the algebra one level, algebra two level, hopefully you won't have too much difficulty to solve this problem. But if you can do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct uh, answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true passion to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. And I'm gonna tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with mathematics. There is no such thing as a bad math student, so please don't give up if you are uh, struggling with math. Here's the three things you need in order to be successful in mathematics. The first is you got to be willing to work hard, all right? So there are no shortcuts. If you're not willing to put in the work, listen, you're, gonna, you're not going to learn the material. There's just too much to know, especially at the high school level and beyond, right, in terms of mathematics. So that's the first thing you need. You need a strong work ethic. The second thing you need is encouragement. You need someone telling you that you are smart enough to do this. There is no such thing as someone that's like, oh, I'm just naturally a bad math student. I fail math all the time. Listen, what you're uh, missing is this third thing, right? The third thing you need is great math instruction. So whoever you're learning from or whatever you're learning from, you need to understand what's going on, right? There's nothing worse than sitting in a classroom and being totally confused on uh, what you know what's being taught. See, math is a very technical subject, and it can be taught in a very technical way. The way I like to teach math is explain it in easy-to-understand language so all people know what's going on. And I could do that without watering down the topic. And the reason why I can do that is because I have years and years and decades of experience. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're studying for, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, teacher certification exam, something that has math on it, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Uh, most students take average notes. A lot of students don't take any notes. If you expect to be excellent at mathematics, you have to learn how to take excellent math notes, right? So start improving your notes. That's the fastest way to start um, uh, improving in mathematics, just to start taking notes. But uh, if your notes are like so-so uh, right now, you can use my notes if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, solution to this problem. We have h minus 2h minus 3h minus 4h is equal to h plus 1. Uh, this type of equation is what we would call a basic linear equation, all right? So if you're like, wow, where are we in my course would I, uh, you know, be studying these particular type of equations? Well, this would fall into the category of a linear equation. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. H is equal to negative 1 uh, over 9, negative 1 ninths. So did you get that problem right? Well, if you got that right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can celebrate your success solving basic algebra equations. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. But uh, before I actually uh, show you the steps, let's just talk about some big picture concepts to solve basic linear equations. So the first thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to simplify each side of the equation first, right? So let's take a look at this um, equation. So there's a bunch of stuff over here I can kind of clean up, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to simplify. You want to clean up one side and then on this side as well. So you want to look at both sides. Now, sometimes you could do some things and sometimes you uh, can't. But your first thing you want to do is to start cleaning up uh, each uh, respective side of the equation. Now, once you've done that, you need to be thinking in terms of getting all the variable terms to the left and all the number, uh, numbers to the right, 
Okay, so we'll talk about what that looks like in a second. But basically, if there's variables on the uh, right hand side, we got to scoot them over to the left hand side. If there's numbers on the left hand side, we got to get those over to the right hand side. Now we're going to do a lot of this kind of cleanup work. We're going to shuffle things around if we need to get all the variables on the left, all the numbers on the right. And then we're finally going to end up with a nice, lovely one step equation that we can solve. The one step equation is an equation like this, 2x is equal to 10, because there's precisely one step you can take in order to solve this equation, or that we need to take, and that is to divide both sides of the equation by two, so you have x is equal to five. That's an example of a one-step equation. So when you learn how to solve linear equations, um, you first start off mastering how to solve one-step equations, then you kind of graduate up to two-step equations, and then you guessed it, you get into multi-step equations. So if you don't know how to uh, solve one-step equations, that's you know where you want to start. Now, if you're confused about just basic equations in general, I'm going to suggest that you check out like my pre-algebra course. Uh, I do teach um, basic one-step equations in my Algebra 1 course as well, if you happen to be in that course and uh, you need a review. All right, so this is basically the uh, game plan that we're going to follow in order to solve this basic linear equation. Let's go ahead and start now. All right, so here is our equation. So we want to start cleaning up each side of the equation. So over here, we can combine like terms. All these are H um, terms that involve H's. Okay, so these are what we call like term because they all like terms because they all have H's. So we can combine them. And we combine them, in other words, we just add the number in front of the variable. That's called the coefficient. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have negative two here. We'll add that to a negative three, and we'll add this to a negative four. Now, I, there is a positive one right here, but let's just kind of just walk this through and not try to do too many steps at once. So negative two, uh, three, uh, negative 3 and negative 4 is what? Well, 2 and 3 is uh, 5, and this 4 is 9, so this is negative 9h. So we have h minus 9h. So when you're doing algebra, try not to do too many steps at once, okay? So this is perfectly fine. You could write uh, this as h minus 9h. Now uh, look at the signs here, okay? This is a positive uh, uh, value right here. This is a positive 1h and this is a negative 1h. So you got to be very careful here. So this is positive 1 minus 9, which is going to be negative 8. Okay, so 1h minus 9h is negative 8h. Okay, and that's equal to h plus 1 because right over here there is nothing we can do. We just have a variable and a number. We can't simplify, so we'll just leave it like this and we just focus on simplifying what we can, which is the left-hand side. So this is what we have uh, so far. So let's go ahead and now take this um, to the next level. And what do we need to do? Well, we already simplified both sides of the equations. So remember, we want to get our variables to the left and our numbers to the right. So we have this variable h, it's on the right-hand side. We need to scoot it over and get it on the left-hand side. So how can I move this h? Uh, from the right-hand side to get it on the left-hand side? Well, what we need to do is get rid of this H on the right-hand side. So how can I get rid of a positive H? Easy, just subtract a negative H away from it. They're like, hey, H, I want to get rid of you, so let's just subtract you away on this side. But remember the rule in algebra. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so you can subtract whatever you want from both sides of the equation, add whatever you want, multiply whatever you want, divide whatever you want, but on both sides of the equation, as long as you do it equally to both sides, that is the main idea. All right, so this is what we're doing, and this is why we're doing it, because we need to get all those variables on the left-hand side. And if you notice here, we have one. One is already on the right-hand side, so we're perfectly fine there. So now we'll kind of add down in a column manner. So negative h plus a negative 1h, or negative 8h, excuse me, plus a negative 1h is going to give us negative 9h. Um, this h minus h is 0. Okay, we don't need to write that 0. And then 1 plus nothing is 1. So this is the result of subtracting h from both sides of the equation. We have negative 9h is equal to 1. 
Well, what type of equation is this right here? This is a one-step equation now, okay? We literally just have to take one step to get uh, um, the answer here. So what is that step? Well, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 9, all right? Negative 9 divided by negative 9, anything divided by itself is what? 1, right? Negative divided by negative is positive, so this is a positive 1. Now, we don't have to write 1h, okay? 1h is the same thing as h. So negative 9 divided by negative 9 is uh, 1h or h. And then, of course, on the right-hand side, we have 1 divided by negative 9, and we can write that as negative 1 over 9. Okay, so this is just a quick rehash of solving basic linear equations. This certainly can get much more involved. We can be doing things with the distributor property, and we can have fractions, decimals, decimals involved. But if uh, this problem was a little bit difficult for you, well, that's a good indication that you need to do some more practice with basic linear equations. So you probably want to check out like my pre-algebra course. I also have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel as well. But uh, anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.